And since you are in a postgrad, uh, postgrad, so I expect you to uh, finish uh, M the E E uh, M E E, and then uh, I I really uh, hope that uh, you go for PhD, uh, PhD, and then uh, when you do PhD now, uh, the emphasis is now is more on the publication, uh, is publication. It is a, it's a good thing though. It's a good thing for, for the uh, postgrad student. Um, why? The, when you publish, uh, when, you, you, when you publish uh, by having the publication, right? Uh, to publish, right? Uh, with the publication, You write for publication. Uh, you are uh, to uh, the you are not the, to waste uh, any quiet uh, info, right? So maybe at the beginning of your study, you may uh, you may uh, do a lot of uh, what we call background search, right? So. Uh, you are not sure whether you where 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 you going before. Maybe you are going in the direction of uh, uh, east, north, south, and you know, uh, west. You don't know uh, what are the thing, what are the scope that you want to do, and so on. So by 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 having the uh, by having the 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 the, the uh, what we call what we call this the. Uh, Preliminary, uh, preliminary, or what we call literature review. Uh, literature review. Uh, you may gather gather the information, right, uh, in a more specific uh, form, and then you publish. Uh, you publish. Uh, so normally the student will start with that. Uh, maybe for the conference. Right for the conference and so on. It's like what uh, Ocampo did, right? Uh, this paper is from conference, yeah? from conference. So from conference, uh, you may present the thing and then you may get feedback. Yeah? So this feedback uh, may give you the idea uh, to go for what we call more uh, bigger publication. They call it journals. Yeah? So journal may be they call it the uh, uh, non-referee or you go for uh, referee. Eh? So normally your supervisor would want you to go for the referee, even though it is a, it is a, a small, small one or, or, or less known publication and so on, but you have to go for the referee. When you go for the referee, another command Okay, another feedback, uh, another feedback you get from the examiner, uh, from the, uh, you call it examiner or um, referees. So they, 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 they will uh, read your paper and this is how uh, you become the good researcher, all right? Because, um, so you you become a trained researcher. Always uh, get the uh, information. Research researcher, All right? Always get the information in writing. That's what we are doing in this class. Huh? Always uh, get okay. Uh, this MKET. One five one three. We always get the uh, always looking for data data from publication because sustainability and sustainability uh, sustainable design uh, we cannot run away from the data. All right. So this data basically uh, will give you the background background. Right. Uh, because you the background. Okay, so since we are in the uh, 
since we are in we preparing the final project report right now uh, you are going to write the the, the paper you're going to write the, you know a paper with respect to uh, certain the format all right from the uh, publishers we will take a look at we will take a look at that all right this format is normally will have uh, what we call uh, title okay and then you are going to have a abstract abstract and then you have a uh, body of information these are the things that we are going to do over and over and over again All right and then finally we are to have what can anyone help me the last part a conclusion or perhaps reference okay which one conclusion or reference uh with the last part very last part is the uh reference but before okay. that there's uh, actually, doctor, for the IE format, I think they are conclusion, acknowledgement, and reference. Acknowledgement and, uh, yeah. and reference. Reference. Uh, All right. Right. So, um, uh, the uh, acknowledgement. Yeah, maybe we can uh, we can uh, put it over here. Uh, this. All right. Uh, maybe we can put over here. Right. So body of information and this one we call it acknowledgement. 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 And this one is like uh, I think someone uh is not mentioned is the references. Right. So um some publication require this, some not. Eh? But mostly we do the uh, we do the acknowledgement because uh, we to uh, we are to recognize or oh, we're going to uh, uh, say thank you to those who helps uh, helps us uh, during uh, research work all right and maybe the uh, research institute or uh, data helping and so on and number two um, the financier uh, financier like uh, what uh, we always do is to apply grant right a grant and then uh, we are to acknowledge the financier acknowledgement right okay so normally has the two things uh, for those who help us doing the research organization and so on and number two is a financier it's a financier all right so this um, the, um abstract and body of information is abstract right abstract body of information and references right so this is very very important and you should follow exactly what uh, being said by the uh, you know publishers format right so um I'll take, uh, take a bit of time to discuss with you what are the content of the abstract and body of information. Right. So for the abstract and body of information, you should have five items. All right. Uh, this is what I. I acquired uh, when I did my PhD. Uh, during my time to do PhD is uh, what we call um, it's a quest for um, for output. Uh, that's that's really um, vast uh, because uh, to get the uh, references uh, would take uh, maybe take months uh, to get one information. And then uh, at that time, uh, you have to, uh, for the reference, you may have to have a hard copy, right? Hard copy, right? And then uh, through the library, uh, maybe, uh, so uh, 
we need to have an interlibrary loan uh, for uh, PDF format. Uh, PDF format. So it will take a lot of time to get a reference. But now you have uh, you know, a lot of information. It's like uh, in your assignment, uh, you can get uh, six, uh, things, six references maybe in one hour. Right? Uh, six references that may relate to what you are doing in maybe one hour. But during my time to get six references, six related uh, references, it may take uh, maybe months maybe months eh, to get the, your related uh, copy. See that? The amount of time now is, is, is uncomparable. We cannot compare uh, what uh, you are having now and what uh, I, 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 I went through during my time. Right? So uh, these uh, five uh, items that you have to present in abstract and a body of information. So number one is basically is a background background this background you may tell the reader what is happening what is happening now right so that's why in our classes all the uh, all the assignment that i give you basically is to get data data and data isn't it all right so uh, to know what's happening you get to get it from uh, from the data this one, what is happening is come from a, from the data. Data. Yeah? So you can see that. Yeah? You can see what is happening in your scope. Right? All right. So number two, number two, you will state uh, what is the purpose of your study. Purpose of your study from 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 the background that uh, you have mentioned, it may uh, gives you some sort of insight. Ah, this is a purpose. Uh, the purpose is uh, uh, may be rephrased in term of a uh, uh, what I want to find out. Okay, so you give a clear idea to the reader that uh, this is what you want to find out. And then uh, you have to tell uh, how you're going to get the more data, all right? So in the background, you use other people's data. So for the uh, method is uh, uh, how to get my data, how to get my data. How to get my data and then uh, the first one is to uh, mention about result all right so these are the result when you do research uh, when you do research if you don't have the result uh, you are not doing anything you are wasting time all right so the result would be in terms of will be in terms of uh, will be in terms of figure, will be in terms of table, and then will be in terms of flowchart. All right, maybe you are searching for a good system or good uh, good way of doing. Maybe you are looking for something like a good management practice, right? We're talking about good management practice, uh, GMP. Uh, how, what is the best way to do this? What is the best way to solve this and so on? So you may report that in terms of flow chart. Right. So when people read your paper and then they realize that, oh, okay, uh, how, uh, how, how come this guy uh, get this idea about this and that and so on? So that's how the research will actually will, will expand, will get expanded. Uh, this is uh, publication is all about uh, to. Uh, to, to report body of information and then for other researchers to continue and continue and continue. And uh, uh, that's, that's how we get a lot of publication and publication and publication. Right? Some people uh, may get some idea from this, from that, and so on. Right? Or item number one is, uh, item number one is, is the background. 
right, and background. And then number two, they need to know the purpose of uh, your paper. And then they want to see how you get the data. And then number four is uh, what are your results, uh, which are in or uh, in figure, in tables, or in flowchart. Finally, number five, uh, the five, number five is uh, we are to conclude. We are to conclude. Conclusion. Fine. Right. So, what's the, the difference between what is the difference between the, the five items? All right. These five items uh, in abstract. What is the difference? Abstract. Uh, what is the difference between what you can find in body of information? What's the difference? So the difference is that uh, for the abstract, we have only limited, right? We have a limited number of words. Um, for IEEE, it is not more than, I think not more than uh, 300 words, I think. You can check, uh, they will tell you. Okay, this publisher, Springer, they will tell you how many words for the abstract or IEEE, how many words for JASA, how many words and so on. So it depends on, uh, uh, depend on the publisher. So normally not more than 300 words. So how can you mention all these five items, you know, in, in uh, 300 words? So that's why for item number one, for, for item number one, for background, so background, maybe uh, you take a two, two, uh, three, three sentences. That's all. All right. Two to three sentences. For the purpose, uh, it will only be one. One only. Not two, not three. One only. The purpose. The purpose of this research. Uh, the purpose of this is to find out. Is to is to rank. Is to something that uh, that uh, you may be able to come up with a. Uh, with the uh, numbers ratio or something like that. Huh? So something measurable, one only, huh? about to come up, to come up with number, percent, rank, or sequence, or and so on. These are all very, very objective. Very, very objective. Oh, no, no. Uh, you simply cannot say that. The purpose of my paper is to investigate. No. Don't say to investigate. Right? Because uh, the paper itself uh, is a product of the investigation. Right? You cannot say that the purpose of this paper is to study. No. No. This one is already done. Once we study the thing, we we'll get the result and then we we'll report that in the publication. So the purpose is something uh, to come up with something measurable, yeah? something that uh, uh, measurable that is will be in number, in percent, in rank, in sequence. Like in my uh, in my uh, field of work, I will come up with a dB decibel. All right, decibel. All right. This, uh, how many decibel? Uh, how, how sound? How sound be reflected? Okay, when we apply this, we apply that, and so on. Uh, how much uh, intonation? So intonation will be in decibel, right? Mm. Okay. So maybe in uh, maybe in 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 uh, in uh, electrical, uh, we may uh, give uh, what happened to the current, what happened to the voltage, what happened to the power, right? And then finally. How much is a cost? Maybe cost reduction, maybe cost uh, increase, cost reduction, and so on. So, will be in terms of dollar and cent and so on. So, it must be come up in a number. Did you get that, Zhao? Uh, yes. Yeah, have you ever heard about this before? I think uh, no. No, all right. Hi, Rol. Yes. Uh, have you have you seen this one before? Uh, no. 
uh, the, the one that I'm, I'm yeah the, the first time Lukman is that for you the first time also yeah it's my first time also all right all right mm -hmm. Ahmed how about you uh, same thing uh, same thing oh yeah yes. Mustafa is here right yeah okay Ahmed yeah same thing right so uh, this is what uh, you know uh, when, when, when we when we go for the grad school you know, uh, the, the idea is that whatever we do, what we do is that we are going to uh, come up with a good paper and then that will reflect our, our uh, what we call in research. So just that in MKET1513, we are more on a sustainability, right? Well, we could talking about pillars, element, what are the LCA, what is the risk, what is the constraint and so on. But, uh, the uh, thing that we want to report must come up into this one. All right. Hmm. Most? Most? So far? Oh, yes, sir. Now, how about you? Is this the first time you've seen this one? Of course. Uh, all right. All right. So I hope you will, uh, you know, uh, really uh, take this one and then uh, bring this with you along until even after we finish the, the class you know this one is very very um, it's very very important in in your job in your in your research in your uh, quest for phd or for project and so on uh, you you will use this one it's just that uh, what where is the emphasis where is the emphasis all right so in the abstract for the purpose is a uh, only one sentence don't ever come up with a two sentence. If you are, uh, if you are to to say that, oh, no, no, so I, I, I cannot, I cannot have uh, one purpose. So you, you are, you are, you doing something very wrong. You are doing very wrong. The purpose is only one. The purpose is only one. All right. So think about that. Only the same thing for our group uh, project report. Right. So the purpose is only one. <clears throat> and then. For the, uh, uh, the fourth item, uh, we are to come up with a result. So the result here uh, may be uh, one or two sentence. One or two sentence. So you report what is the, the most prominent. Uh, the most prominent. Uh, the most prominent. So report the most prominent or the most significant, the most significant, right? So like my my line of study, I would say that the intonation, uh, the intonation, uh, can be as much as, uh, as much as fifteen dB, right? Fifteen dB. And then for those who are interested in the paper, they will look that into the body of information. How this guy got uh, the intonation as much as 15 dB. 15 dB is a lot, right? For certain certain application, right? Let's say that I'm talking about uh, talking about noise that uh, infiltrate into the residential. So it, it, it's got complaint from the resident. So they want uh, me to design something that can uh, reduce the amount of uh, noise into their uh, vicinity. Right? So from my work, uh, from my report uh, that I've been doing all this while, I come up with a, with a solution that can donate as much as uh, 15 dB. Right? For the resident, they don't know. For the resident, they don't know. 15 dB, what is that? Yeah, because uh, so someone who are reading my report, they want to make sure that, oh, 15 dB, what method you use, right? Sorry, I, I skip one thing here. Uh, so this one is not, uh, this one is not, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, class. Uh, it is, uh, so, uh, this one, ah, all right. So item number one is um, about background. Right, background. Item number two is purpose. Item number three is not result. Item number three is what? Anyone? Okay. What's what's item number three? Anyone? High roll. What's item number three? 
Ya. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, your your clue is a in 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 green color. Method. Yeah, it's a method. Thank you very much. So it is a it's a method. Oh, so sorry about that. Okay. So the third one is a method. Uh, method. So method. For method, maybe uh, you can put the uh, two to three sentence. Yeah? It depends. Uh, you have to make sure that uh, it's uh, not uh, going to uh, exceed the amount of uh, of the uh, the uh, words allowed by the publisher. So two to three sentence. So result maybe one to two sentence and come up with the most significant. Right? So to tell them in the method how I'm going to get the data. How am I going to get the data? How am I going to, uh, to, to achieve my purpose and so on? So it depends on what you want to tell them. So finally, finally, Ahmed, last one. Number one, background. Number two, purpose. One sentence. Number three, uh, method, right? Number four is the result. Okay, let me go back then. Since uh, you have you have seen this one for the first time, all right. So what's uh what's the fifth item, I mean? Conclusion. Conclusion. Excellent. All right. So it is a conclusion. So finally, it is a conclusion. All right, number five is a conclusion. All right, conclusion. So for the conclusion, it depends uh, how many how many conclusion uh, you want to do. Uh, but normally, in the abstract, you put only uh, mention no, mention only one the conclusion All right so now for the uh, body of information this one uh, what you mentioned in the abstract will be elongated so uh, normally in the body of information uh, one all right in i triple e you put like uh, one all right so this one is uh, they call it introduction Oh, basically, this was introduction is a is a background, is a background. So number two, uh, in IEEE, E, it go like that, right? It's a method, right? Method. So number three, in IEEE, E, they put the result. Okay. Number four, is written like that, you know. Uh, Ajupa E conclusion. So, is there anything uh, missing here? Is there anything missing here? Uh, Mustafa? Is there anything missing here? In the body of information, I write number one, introduction, which consists the background, right? And then number two is method. Number three is a result. Number four, conclusion. What's missing most? I think uh, references. Yeah? References? Oh no, yet uh, uh, references it will be uh, will be will be here. It will be here. Uh, we are talking about uh, the the this five item must be in a must be in a abstract in a body of information. For the abstract is a kind of short one, short, uh, short one, right? But in a uh, in a body of uh, information, this five item will be. Uh, detail uh, will be details. ED at the back. Be more detail. Zhao, what's missing here? What's, what, what's, what, what's missing here? Of, of the five item, number one, introduction that cover background. Number uh, two, matter. Discussion? Yeah? Discussion, maybe. 
or discussion is in a here. A discussion is in a result. Uh, uh, normally we discuss, right? We discuss what we discuss. We discuss the result, isn't it? Right? Yeah. So from the table, from the figure, and then we discuss. So it is in a result. So problem statement or something like that? No problem. Problem statement. It is here. It's an introduction. Okay. It's an introduction. Purpose. Purpose. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Hmm. You see that? No. Right. So uh, the five item here is a uh, is is missing. So what's the purpose should be? Right. What's the purpose would be? So it depends. Sometimes you see that uh, uh, people mention that in the method, right? But most of the time, most of the time, the purpose is in the introduction, right? You mention that in the introduction, just before the purpose, just before the purpose. No, 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 just before the, before you go into the method. Just before the method. So you mentioned something about that. So you have mentioned that uh, in detail, right? Uh, no, no, you, you, you have mentioned that uh, in the abstract. But in, uh, in body of information, you describe a bit more uh, in the introduction. So we are all set. Huh? We are all set. All set. Huh? With the five items. All right, so as far as the uh, five item uh, for five item for abstract, right? For abstract and for abstract and body of information. Uh, Sometimes they call it body, you see, uh, body, body of paper, of paper. Yeah, body of paper. So uh, from what uh, Zhao has presented here, uh, can really be uh, refined. Like this one uh, is a life cycle on a solar panel industry. So now the scope is there, solar panel industry. So when you're, you're, when you're talking about, when you're talking about, uh, um, when you're talking about, when you're talking about, uh, it's a background, we're talking about purpose, Right? We're talking about method, talking about result, and then conclusion. All right? You may uh, go back and then uh, refine uh, the, 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 uh, what uh, you have put here. So uh, by having the scope, this is the, 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 the body of a, a study of knowledge eh, that you want to get into solar panel solar panel and then from here uh, we have a problem identification uh, to set up the purpose of the project so here we have a carbon emission carbon emission co reduction oh, we are talking about resources for pb for pb panel life cycle right so uh, pay off return this one is a return on investment. Yeah? So which one you want to you want to concentrate on? Yeah? So uh, this one, once you return, you will go and then when you do the background study, you may set up the purpose. So the purpose may come from uh, maybe one of these. You are not uh, able to cover all of them. Understand? Yeah? You're going to select one of them. And then that will be your item for the for the purpose yeah, for the purpose of your project. So this one. Right. So something that from the uh, detail, you know. So so no no not detail. This one is one more specific. Right? Specific. So from solar panel industry, you go to the purpose. So this purpose comes from. Uh, come from the problem identification 
that uh, you put in your assignment. Location, here it is, right? From here. Okay. And then method. Uh, for the method, how are you going to do? Yeah, once you get uh, your purpose, uh, what are the methods you're going to get the data? In this, in this uh, uh, study, you cannot do experiment, isn't it? You don't have time. Uh, can, can you do the survey? You also don't have time. You cannot do the survey. Uh, you can, can you uh, do questionnaire? You may, but it's, it's very, very unlikely because you don't have time. All right? So what's left for you is what? Uh, Mustafa, what's left for you? Excuse me, sir. What's that? I didn't hear you. Uh, you didn't hear me? No, no. Okay, I, I mentioned that for the method, uh, one way to get the data is to do the experiment, right? Or if you cannot do the experiment, you do a survey, right? You do the survey. You ask about this, about this and that, yeah? uh, from, from the people in a, let's say that for Zao, uh, in a solar panel industry. So you go and find a, a survey or uh, you find out about from the questionnaire, from the questionnaire. Okay, you you uh, you identify a couple of people and so on, or uh, organization, and then you go and ask questions. Right? But all these three is not really possible. It's not really possible for this assignment because we don't have time. We don't have time. We don't have time. Not enough time. So only one lab for you. Only one. Is that day. research? What is that? Uh, research, maybe. Research, okay. We do the research, okay. And then from the research, how 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 how, we, how are you going to, to solve your problem? Uh, exact the information we need. Right. Yeah. You use, okay. Use other people you use other people's data isn't it right you use other people's data and then you can get the result right from this guy this number from this guy this number from this guy this percent from this guy this thing from this guy this thing and then finally you get the result you get the result Right. Get the result. Get the result. So the result in what? You put that in terms of figure, right? In table, whichever table, and then from a in a flow chart and so on. It depends on what is your purpose. Get it? So this one, uh Lukman, which one? Or all throughout the semester, which one of these uh, you are very familiar in MKET1513? <laughs> which one of the result? Which one is really, really familiar? You are really, really familiar. Uh, for the result, uh, Doctor? Yeah, for the result. Um, I'm sorry, uh, which result, Doctor? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean uh, uh, throughout the, uh, the, the, the semester, right? We have uh -huh. a strict assignment, and then um, uh, one of the form of result that I always you uh, I I always mention to you to write uh, not more than five, uh, at least two. Uh, among these three, what's the the, the most? Uh, what's oh, the, the most? table. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, this one. Yeah. Right? Huh? This thing all the time huh? from your reference. This is what I always do. Uh, report in a table, 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 table. All right. From the table, you can draw figure. Maybe uh, from the figure of other people, you can get the data, right? The number, and then you put that in the table. So, hmm. 
Uh, so this table normally in terms of numbers, uh, numbers, red facts, uh, facts and so on. So from facts, you may draw the flow chart. Uh, draw the flow chart. It depends. Depend on the purpose of your purpose of your project. What you might find out. Something in a in detail. Uh, no, no, so not something in detail, something very, very specific. Okay, and then uh, from that, uh, like Ahmed mentioned, it's a preferences, right? Preferences, oh, no, conclusion, no, no. sorry. After that, you conclude. When you conclude, you will answer your, you will answer your purpose. So the conclusion, uh, once you get the result, when you get the result, you discuss and so on, and then you're going to conclude. So when you conclude, you have to conclude based on the purpose. Based on the purpose. Now, if you take a look at the uh, Okampa, 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 Okampo. Kampa et al. 2015. All right. So the conclusion is this much. Not much, isn't it? It's this much. That's all. Okay. Can someone uh, point me? What is the, the discussion? What is the, what, what, what the author find out? Right? Anyone? Maybe uh, uh, most once again. What's the what's the conclusion? Okay. If you take a look at the title, uh, the title of this paper. is matrix based life cycle assessment all right so we know that so this is the uh, method uh, life cycle assessment on polystyrene and recycled paper egg tray packaging that's all all right now we know that the the, the author is talking about polystyrene and the recycled waste paper so that's all uh, we know about about uh, the, the 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 paper Right by reading the by reading the uh, uh, the paper, so once we read through, we should uh, track this. Uh, we should track the five item, right? Five item. So, uh, in order to know what the uh, what the uh, what the author will conclude is to find out what is the purpose of this paper. Okay, you should go that and then find out what's the purpose of this paper and then once you know the purpose of this paper uh, you should go here and see whether the author answered the question or not all right so uh, i'm going to share with you that uh, uh, the main conclusion from this uh, publication is that the author has uh, proven that or has have managed to show uh, manage to show right then and then to show and then by doing uh, comparison analysis experiment by using LCA uh, by using the LCA that the that the the polystyrene has higher impact on the environment compared to the uh, recycled egg tree. Right. So that's the conclusion. Right. 
So from what the, the author has done here, see that all the number, table and so on, uh, he did, uh, they did analyze using the uh, uh, LCA and then what they concentrate was the environmental outflow, isn't it? This one, they are talking about the emission. It's like one of the uh, problem identification by Zhang. Eh? Emission. So they compare emission here from the recycled paper egg. And then they compare the, this one with the polystyrene. So they are not, they're not sure. They're not sure uh, which one has a greater environmental impact. So by using LCA, they have shown us read the readers that polystyrene has higher environmental impact compared to the polystyrene. I don't know. Oh, yeah, polystyrene um, actually has higher environmental impact compared to the uh, compared to the recycled uh, paper actually. Hmm. So how how do you know that? How do you know that uh, the uh, this uh, this polystyrene has the higher environmental impact? So we take a look at this number, this number is one. So see that the author interpret what he did, and then so he conclude this. So that's basically the uh, five uh, item for the paper. All right five items for the paper. Let me repeat. It is right. It is the right. it is this one. First one is a background. This is purpose method. Result and conclusion, and then this uh, five item can be found in abstract, and then in the body of paper. So I change from body of information to body of paper, right? So this one uh, in the uh, in the abstract. You mentioned the five item, okay? These five item in a short, uh, short form, only short, all right? Okay, because uh, we don't have uh, we can, we should we should uh, uh, we should have convey that in a less than three hundred words, right? Most of the publisher, but in the uh, uh, in the body of paper we have that this five item in a Detail, D E T A I L E D. Okay, class. So that will be the uh, five item for final project report.